Check, check. One, two. Okay. Sorry, guys. I uh, didn't realize that my mic wasn't on. <laughs> Wait, let me make sure it's good. Check, check. One, two. Check. Checking, checking, check. One, two. Check. Okay, cool. Just wanted to be sure that my mic was okay. So I had to test it that way. That way I can... That was, that was my monitoring system. Which is also, ironically, also the voice changer. But I just use that to, to test my own voice. So, welcome everyone. Welcome back. Welcome YouTube. Welcome Twitch. Uh, today, for this stream, we're going to continue with the campaign. I'm um, going to try and knock out at least a couple missions today. Uh, I don't want to make the stream too terribly long because I do have some other stuff that I need to do. Last night, I was going to do some shit and also meant to fucking stream and did nothing. Because uh, apparently, I got hit with some... Not some really bad fatigue, but... Some pretty decent fatigue, and I uh, just fucking finished my workout, showered, and then was gonna chow down and then get some other shit done, and then just all I did was eat some crackers, and then I fell asleep. I guess I was just that tired, but. I have something I wanted to tell you. Always, or never. Uh, anyway, what do you want? Uh, what? Anyway. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so uh, since I didn't do anything, uh, or well, didn't do as much as I wanted to do yesterday, I uh, figured I'd, I'd get started on some other shit today, so we're going to continue with this uh, campaign in the stream. Uh, grind a little bit off camera, um, like I said I was going to. Uh, grind it out on, on a couple classes. Uh, got the gunner up a little bit more, because I may use that from time to time. And the dock will be the main one that I use um, whenever it comes to continuing the campaign because that way I can al also heal myself even when I don't have any first aid kits and uh, can also give myself a little bit more benefits. Um, which, yeah, both my gunner and my dock are, are up to par. Uh, the gunner I had to work on a little bit more because it was behind, obviously. I've been using the dock mostly. The dock, uh, thankfully, I got up to, uh, up to level 3, I guess. Um, as you can see right there, my combat rating is now 451. I uh, got a few new weapons, changed around some perks, uh, changed around some uh, some attachments and stuff like that. Does this have... Oh, this is a new one. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to keep that one. Uh, right now, I'm working towards uh, saving up some more uh, credits. Yeah, I've got 8,900 right now. Uh, so I need, what, 700 more credits to be able to buy the next weapon that I'm going to get. Uh, which I thought about getting another sidearm, but what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to get a new uh, auto rifle. Um, because currently, the two auto rifles that I've been switching between have been the pulse rifle. And primarily, I've been sticking to the halberd now, because uh, I kind of like the way it shoots. And, and I want to use something a little bit different than the standard pulse rifle. Uh, I'll probably go back to the pulse rifle. And actually, I think a couple of classes still have the pulse rifle available. Uh, but, oh. <laughs> I have a cap on. I fucking forgot I had a cap on. Uh, wait, no, not that. Oh, and also, yeah, as you can tell down here, I had like fucking, I think like almost 2,000 uh, prep script. And got rid of basically all of it. Um, spent it on, uh, I think, one weapon uh, weapon skin. And two packs of consumables, or not consumables, uh, challenge cards. Uh, so that I could try and, and use those for uh, greater XP credits. And just all around better rewards overall. Um, and I did some of those off camera. I still have a few actually. Uh, yeah, so I had, I have six, I think I had eight or nine, so I've done a few, and I still kept some of these, uh, so I could do some of these on camera, and, uh, kind of just fuck around with some of these, because some of these seemed kind of interesting, not all of these being bad, this one seemed like it would be hell. So I thought about doing this. Um, I thought about doing this in like one of the early missions for the first campaign uh, and probably just running it maybe on my gunner or something. Uh, 
something something that could really take down targets pretty quickly. And I figured probably the gunner would be the safest bet, um, just based on the, the the two automatic weapons that I use on it, uh, compared to my dock, for example, which obviously, like it says right there, my kit abilities would be disabled, so I would get no grenades, uh, no other boosts, and uh, no... I think that also means like no equipment as well, so because that's also part of the kit, so like no sentries or anything like that. Um, so I thought about using that, and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to play through the, some of the missions in the campaign, see which one could be fairly feasible, and then go back and, and do one of those missions again, like maybe this next one that I'm going to do, and then run uh, this challenge card on with it. Um, what I think I'm going to do now is either... Either the retro cam or coming out of the damn walls for this next mission. But I also don't want to totally fuck myself. I'm going to up the ante, obviously, but I don't want to entirely fuck myself because this is... A xenomorph drone will spawn shortly after beginning the mission, at which point there will always be an active drone. Every fucking time. And those drones are so fucking annoying because they'll just pounce on you. Whenever they see you, they'll run right through you. Um, and they don't stop. They fucking charge at you. They're not as bad as a warrior, but worse than a pouncer, I feel like. So, I mean, it's 2.5 experience. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do this one for the, for the next mission that I do, which will be interesting. So let's get into it. And uh, I'm probably going to... Uh, edit a few streams together uh, for a a montage of, of <laughs> some of the jump scares that I've had in a few streams because I know I've had a few of them uh, on stream especially with the witch hunt game that I was talking about last time okay let's do this <laughs> excuse me at the bottom of an ancient ruin she won't talk about. It's a trade secret. There's Haywire Wayland Utani security sense ahead. Cut through them, link up with Rodriguez, and get her people home safe. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do this one because I don't want to totally fuck myself right now. But this will at least uh, allow me to get a, a bit better rewards. <sighs> Okie dokie. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try and, and uh, uh, take a few of my streams and edit some of them together to m create a sort of like a highlight reel uh, between a few streams. Uh, not really edit the individual streams down and release them as their own videos because, I mean, they're just stream archives. But I'm going to try and make some highlight reels from some of them. So I'm going to take a few of the jump scares from this and a few of the jump scares from Witch Hunt. Um, those are the main two that I can think of off the top of my head right now. Well, actually, maybe a, maybe a couple from Chernobylite as well. Because I did get jump scared a few times in that. Um, and that'll just be a long, uh, yeah, a longer term video to make because it's going to take me a little while to go through all the footage and considering those are some long streams. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be this bad. Holy shit. Marines, you in a yeah, and I've also fucked myself too. How do I? Well, I guess I can I can deal with that. <laughs> it's like I've lowered my resolution. <laughs> oh my god, I can't see. Hang on, I'm just gonna camp here for a second. I'm gonna let them come to me. If they come to me, that is. Okay. Oh, unless there's a sense. They are sense. Oh my god, that's going to be fucking difficult. <laughs> Oh 
I'm also gonna buy the Damn, it's fucking hard to see their heads. I feel like my days of playing Minecraft have prepared me for this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Minecraft isn't this bad. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. Oh, oh fuck. Also, since I didn't fucking do anything yesterday, I didn't even fucking... Didn't even record, didn't even fucking edit, and I meant to fucking start doing some edits. What? What? Some edits uh, for a few videos that I have waiting to be edited. Sorry if you guys heard that. That's just uh, Xbox Live sending a message. Damn it. Fucking mouse got stuck. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to help out these guys. Fuck me. Okay, he's dead already. Alright, cool beats. And then I'll, I'm also going to make a, a couple more kill montages in a, a couple games, I'd say. Uh, I think I'm going to do one in Blood Trail, which I have yet to actually start. That's going to be on stream, though. I'm going to stream that, and then I'm going to edit it down. Uh, not the whole video. I'm going to release the, the, the stream itself as an archive, of course, as usual. And then uh, after that, I'm going to... After that, I'm going to make an edit and release a Oh, fuck you! Ah, oh, fuck. Where'd you go? Uh, I'm make an edit and release a separate video as a, um... Uh, a separate video as a montage. Probably in the same original way that I did the first one, where I'll I'll put a soundtrack to it and uh, see how I can spice it up a little bit. Then I'm also potentially gonna do a. Another compilation, not really a montage or anything like that, but a, mo a compilation. A compilation of uh, my my VR streams and recordings. Well, I think they've all been streams. I don't think I've recorded any yet. I had some recorded and then I fucking lost them on my last, uh, last time my computer got wiped. Um, so I'm thinking about uh, editing some of those streams down. And then just picking out the uh, the highlights from every single time I hit the fucking wall. We'll call it the wall compilation or some some shit like that. I don't I don't know what to call it yet, but that's just the idea that I currently have.
It's a shame I can't appreciate the beauty more. With this fucking challenge card. Bada bing bada boom. Uh, more detonators? Maybe? Where? Uh oh. Let me do that. Damn it. Why did you fucking shoot him? Here we go. Okie dokie, just wait one sec. I'm gonna go and heal using this first aid kit. It's gonna be kind of a waste because I'm not that hurt, but I'm gonna go and do it anyway. And yeah, uh, I, uh, for recorded videos right now, I have one Century Age of Ashes video. And I have also... Shut the fuck up. And I have also one um, Dead Side video currently waiting to be edited. Oh, I still gotta... What? Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to expect. Oh, wait. That's okay, I need them for a bounty. Holy fucking hell. Alright, you're, you're primary target. Got him. That was priority one right there. Where's the other one? There? Yep. Okay, Xeno's like, I don't have to worry about too much. <laughs> Same. But I need more of them so I can get my fucking bounty done. I need to look around real quick. Granted, it's fucking hard to do that because it's fucking blurry as a mother shit. Mother shit? <laughs> That's a new one. What the fuck are you shooting at? They're dead. I mean, there's one more behind the door, but he's not here yet. Come on. Also, I'm trying to keep an eye on my mic level because I want to make sure that the cable doesn't get fucked up. All right, let's get moving. Oh, I, I can't parkour over that one. It's too wide. Giggity. Well, no.
And once once I finish the campaign for this, uh, I'll be rotating again to some other streams. I, I thought about also rotating to something else. Uh, I think I might do a few streams in uh, Naraka Blood, uh, Blade Point. I've had that uh, in my library for quite a while, as with all my games. It's just a matter of finding out when to rotate between them and what I want to what I want to rotate between. I have a DMR. It's great for mowing through these bastards. Oh, those fucking turrets. Crouch, you fuck. Is that a head? Oh, it is. What the shit was that sound? God damn it, it's so fucking pixelated, I can't even see shit. Oh, I totally forgot I still had my fucking, my earphones connected to my PC because I was trying to charge them earlier. Hold up, wait one sec. Okay, I'm good now. Let's. Oh, okay. Ha! <laughs> I'll say. Aw, oh, fuck me! Thank you. Nice. Well timed. Same. Alright. Let me shoot from range. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I'm trying to shoot them, but it won't. Is there one right there? I can't fucking tell. Because my eyesight wasn't bad enough already. Well, let me look around first before I continue forward. I'm just going to go ahead and boost us right now. 
Damn it. It makes it fucking harder to aim. Looking around for hidden caches while I fucking fight these guys. I need a fucking ammo cache. ASAP. Oh, fuck. One mag left. Sorry, my phone went off and I was like, did I just get something, some message, or some important message? But I didn't. It's okay. I always have to be, like, aware of that, because uh, sometimes I'll, I'll get some important messages, and, and they're, like, waiting for me to respond, like, immediately, and I'm like, fuck! And then I don't realize until later that they message me. By they, I just mean, like, in general, like, just some people need a response from me ASAP, and then I'm just fucking busy. Like recently, for example, uh, my mom was calling me because my mom is currently in Mexico uh, visiting family. And I was just fucking chilling, uh, showering. Because um, I had gotten done like doing quite a bit of work. And I think that was one of the days that I was streaming. Uh, finished streaming, I was fucking finishing up some other work that I had to do on my, on my PC. And then after that, then I fucking decided to take a, a nice hot shower so I could relax and then get started on some more shit and my mom called me oh so that's what she means uh, but as I was saying, uh, uh, regards to my story, so I was in the shower and I was just, you know, relaxing, taking a hot shower, uh, just trying to enjoy my time in there. And my mom calls me uh, while I'm in the shower, uh, and I'm like, "Oh shit, is that my mom? Or is that is that is that a friend? Or or who is that?" Because uh, I couldn't see it, you know. Uh, I have like see through, partially see through, obviously. Uh, walls in my shower because it's like uh, one of those not quite glass but like maybe almost like plexiglass in my, I think it is and I saw that someone was calling me and I was like I mean it's probably my mom because she hasn't called me in like a day or two so uh, she was probably she was probably calling me to make sure how I was and I didn't get to answer the phone and I was like okay fine I'll just call her back here in a second so uh, I figure I'll just How do I not wake them? And I can't even see them! And I figure, um... I'll call her back here in a second. I uh, just want to finish my shower and enjoy it while I can. Before I get started doing other shit. So I'm like, okay, alright. Uh, I'll just keep an eye on it and uh, I'll call her back once I get out of the shower. She calls me back before I'm even out of the shower. And I'm like, god damn it, okay, just wait. Oh, fuck off. That's not what I said to my mom, just... Okay, cool. Great. Oh, fuck it, whatever. Actually, this is perfect. I need to kill a fucking synths anyway. Okay, as I was saying, again... Uh, so she calls me back before I'm even out of the shower. I'm like, God fucking damn it. It hasn't even been that long. It was maybe like 10 minutes and my showers are, are kind of long, but that's just cause I, I like to enjoy uh, the, the warmth and, and soak.
Um, so she calls me back before I'm even out of the shower, and I'm like, God damn it, okay, well, she's gonna start getting worried, as usual, because I know, I know my mom, and she tends to fucking worry too much, or, like, if I don't respond within a certain amount of time, she's like, God damn it, maybe something's wrong, or he's not feeling well, or something, and I mean, yeah, sometimes I don't feel well, but I will get to the fucking phone as quickly as I can, so, uh, I'm not able to respond, and then I get out of the shower, and I'm like, God fucking damn it, okay, fine, I have to get out of the shower now. And I get out of the shower, call her back, and as I'm about to call her back, my sister texts me, double texts me, and she's like, hey, uh, mom tried to call you uh, a few times, and, and you didn't answer. She's she's worried. Text me back. And I'm like, god damn it. Well, let me call my mom first so she can stop getting worried. And so I call her back, and then as I call her back, my sister uh, starts to fucking come in the fucking door to my house. And I'm like, son of a bitch, just fucking give me a second. <laughs> Yeah, so I had to deal with that. My sister comes in, uh, comes in the door, and I'm like, I was talking to my mom already by that point, and I was like, Yeah, I'm sorry, I was in the bathroom, I was showering, and my mom was like, Oh no, 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 I'm sorry, I, I just, I hadn't called you in a couple days, and I was getting worried because remember she's out of the country. Um, but yeah, then <laughs> uh, as my sister comes uh, barging in the door, and she's like, she's calling my name, she's trying to look for me, and, I'm, and I open the door to the bathroom, I'm like. I'm on the phone already with my mom, and I just I just wave hi at her, and she's like, she she comes in the door, and she's like, oh, I, I'm sorry, I love you, okay, bye, <laughs> all nonchalant. But that's a prime example of why I have to keep an eye on my phone typically, because I never know what the fuck I'm gonna get messaged to me, whether it be like a friend or family or you know something. Is there a sniper? Oh, there's a sniper. I'm trying to fucking relax my eyes a little bit so I can just look for for movement and then aim there. But it's fucking hard with all this pixelation. Holy fuck. Where's the sniper at? I can't even tell where the sniper's at. I can't tell where the uh, fucking laser is coming from. I'm trying to get as many synth kills as I can because I need them for my bounty. Oh, is that him on that side? Probably. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Okay. Need to reload. Got one bullet. Come on. Who the shit? Oh, fuck, right above me. Okay, they got him. Damn it, they got the second one. 
Or a third one, rather. How's my health? That's eh, decent. It's a little low, but it's decent. I better get that fucker. Oh, I can't. I can only pick up one at a time? Okay. Where do I need to take this? Right up here. Damn, there's a lot of stuff here. Perfect. I'll go ahead and use this. Oh, is there someone? No, not yet. Fuck me. You better pick his ass up. Wait, didn't I just heal? Fuck my ass. I mean, I can drop my aid station here in a second if I need to, but I'm trying to make sure these guys don't get me. This fucking pixelation modifier, though, is not helping me out at all. Oh, right. I need to attach synth core. Grab this other one. Tell me something I don't know. Fuck me! What the hell? Where? I'm just gonna do this real quick. God damn, it's hard to see. Playing Aliens Minecraft Edition. That should be good. I don't want to drain the whole thing. Not yet, anyway. Ooh, the shit. Also, one of the last things I'm going to do, once I get used to this a bit more, is probably turn off, like, almost all the HUD and then play it that way. Because I play a lot of my games that way. And it's going to be a whole fucking... Get the fuck out of my way! It's going to be a whole fucking pain in the ass. But TBH, I kind of like it. Not the pain in the ass, just the challenge. <laughs> Where the... Up top? If it's just workers, it's fine. But if it's actual. Oh, it's a sentry! Where's the other. Oh! I'm trying to use my radar, but goddamn, it's hard. Another sentry. So. That there. Oh, you fucking whore. What else is over here? What's their weak point? Okay, yeah, this is the perfect spot to... F oh, fuck. This is the perfect spot to get the rest of my bounty... Or the rest of my bounty... Yeah, the rest of my bounty done. <laughs> Fucking words, right? It definitely makes my reaction time slower. Because I can't tell what the hell I'm looking at half the time. I have to get right up on it. Giggity. Damn it. I already got it. Wait a second. Okay, now. Stay the fuck away from me. You fucking horse. Good thing I'm a dog. Oh, you whore. Nope. Oh, 
God damn it, really? Oh, fuck. Am I good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, right, I need to find more first. God damn it. If I'm not done with my bounty by the end of this mission, I would be surprised, honestly. I'm supposed to have 300 synthetic kills. And uh, it feels like I'm on par to approach that. Oh, fucking hate these guys. You fucking idiot. Why would you stand so damn close to these fuckers? That's a lot of sense. Are there no Xenos for this? Or at least for this specific area? Oh, fuck. Load, damn it. There's like a little cooldown period. Oh, that's a fucking heavy. Another one? Really? Another one! I had to make sure I turn away from the mic for that. Fuck my ass. Actually, don't do it. They're already doing it. Oh, you fuck! Does that count as a crit? Someone's messaging me right now, and I don't know who it is. Are they pushing us? Oh, yeah, they're pushing us. Oh, fuck, they're pushing us. Oh, fuck you. Right about now, I wish I had the fucking abilities of a gunner as well as a fucking doc. I'm gonna do that. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I am so fucked right now. No, 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 no. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And I was doing so well up until that point, too. Great. Well, there goes that fucking mission. Never mind, nothing important. Someone was just messaging me, messaging me about a about a meme. <laughs> All right, let's continue. <sighs> I was doing so fucking well with this, and it just feels like a waste now that I fucking lost it, because if I don't complete the challenge card, I lose it, so. Fuck me. Great. And I had fucking, I had abilities, too. I just didn't have to fucking break the place. I'm, what the fuck is in here? There's a bug flying around. Is that a gnat? Might be a gnat. Uh, they were shaking 5,000. Shot accuracy 76%. Yeah, it makes sense. Report to your CO. Fuck my CO. I'll report to myself in the escape menu. Oh. Well, I'll report to these guys and see what uh, backstory they give me. Who that? Scan of Cynthia's server hardware? 
She was a curious variation of the mother computer concept. Mother systems have existed since the early period of exocolonization. They are immobile, mainframe-based artificial intelligences that regulate all systems on a spacecraft. The premier example is Weyland Yutani's Mother series, which lent their name to all AIs of the type. Its computing brands include Seasons Apollo and Hyperdyne Proxy. Compared to synthetics, mother systems are many times more intelligent and capable. However, they have rudimentary socialization programming. You would find them cold and uncommunicative, while a human crew travels in hypersleep. A ship's mother system works with a synthetic partner like myself to maintain the vessel. Sorry, I'm eating a banana right now as well. I've had some bananas out in on my kitchen island. I need to make sure I eat these before they go bad. Because I was waiting for them to ripen up a little bit more. Because I bought them when they were still green. But now they're ready to be eaten. But now I want to make sure that I eat them before they go bad. <laughs> Let's see if I can get their one hand. I got this. I got this. I got it. Nope. Nope. I'm moving that dump truck of an ass this way. Actually, I don't think my character has that much of an ass. Kind of like me. Aha! You stand a badge for Cynthia Rodriguez. May I have a copy? Corporate IDs contain a person empire. We know Rodriguez was a cover identity for a synthetic controlled by Bala Station's mother computer, Cynthia. Her employer's record is a cover story drafted by Wayland Yutani's IT division. Of course it is. They claim Rodriguez served in the Colonial Marines and achieved the rank of Colonel. Check in. Hmm. Records in our own system corroborate. I'm given the full set of records. Scans of handwritten commendation from her mentioning superiors, even fitness reports. This is very thorough forgery. We're impressed. We inject false records into personnel from our databases. The Rodriguez cover identity must have been initially crafted before the Frontier Wars. Where in Yutani no longer had such access. All right, let's continue. Let's try that shit again. But that was the only fucking uh, challenge card that I really felt like I could feasibly complete uh, this late in the game and also on the current mission that I'm on. Let's see here. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I mean, I still wasn't even... <coughs> excuse me. Still wasn't even done anyway, so if I had finished that fucking mission I don't even know how close I was to the end maybe I was really fucking close after well no I feel like maybe I was halfway or maybe about three quarters but if I had finished it I feel like I absolutely could have finished this up I just need what 66 more yep execute order 66 um that sounded Russian but let's see here fucking A what I get Oh, I got a new decal. Eight ball. Yes, because I'm totally trying to kill myself. Uh, got a new magazine? Which one was it? Oh, uh, it was this one, right? It's only plus 25%. Well, actually, this gives plus 10% stability on hit for three seconds. This effect stacks four times. So actually, that's not too bad. I, I dig that it has extra effects even on the attachments. It, it makes me feel like I'm playing in some fucked up version of Destiny. Now that I'm all that big of a fanboy of Destiny, I enjoy Destiny. But it has a, it has its moments. It's good and it's bad. I'm just familiar with the concept of how the game plays. So. It makes it easier for me if I have something to compare it to in some way. 
And as you can tell, I have been busy fucking buying and mostly collecting uh, different attachments. Some of these I got for different weapons. If it's an auto rifle, I try to use a uh, just a, a low power side so I don't actually have to like aim down sights. Check what I've got in the back channel. So I've got 327. Let's see what I got. So this is specific only to each class, I believe, right? As far as I know. So as a doc, this would be what I'm wearing. Which I mean, it does look pretty good either way. Helping hand. That's a demolisher. Seek and destroy, I think is what that's supposed to say. Speak softly. <laughs> that's a that's a missile barrage on my back, I'm pretty sure, right? That's the gunner. Stopping power. What do I want right now? I can't get any of these because I want to get some of these other uh, helmets down here, the elite helmets, because these are actually pretty decent. A bit more sleek and in black. I mean, you could always just get another. I got I got this weapon skin specifically for this color. Oh, I can't get these down here. Because the other one that I want is the metallic sunset. I like that metallic look and the 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 way it looks like it's uh, a few different colors combined. I got pineapple, which I don't really want. Marble gray, I could do. I mean, I wouldn't mind actually some of these camos. I mean, that's okay. I'd probably use that on something. I feel like uh, some of these more fancy, like bright colors, or something, or like super bright colors. I would probably use on a heavy weapon. So probably like whenever I get the minigun. Sorry, I have to fucking scratch my eyes really quick. Scratch my naked eye with my fingernail. No, I'm just kidding. Not just my eyes, a little bit itchy. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. I mean, do I spend that on this or? Actually, I can buy two packs of challenge cards again. So why don't I do that? Unless I want any of these. Oh, what's my headset at? Oof, my headset is low on battery. So uh, yeah, I guess it'll be enough for this stream probably. Yeah, it'll probably be enough for this stream. Fuck it. Yeah, let's spend it on challenge cards. Because I want the extra rewards. Explosions, I made a bad call. It'll kick some. Oh, I did one of these uh, exotic ones. The purple are exotic uh, challenge cards. I did one of those on the the first mission in the first campaign. Because it was going to be pretty fucking ridiculously hard to do it on any other mission, I felt like. Damn, Gina. All right, let's see what these challenge cards are. So I can kind of get an idea of which ones I want to put on. Uh, empty husks. As a team, headshot kill at least 75 pathogen husks and complete the mission. Synth companions and placed objects in their account toward the total. Oh, okay. But I haven't even had to go up against those yet. Not the husks, anyway. Explosions. All xenomorph runners are now spawned as weaker xenomorph bursters. Oh, okay. And all maintenance synths are spawned as weaker synth detonators. Fuck. <laughs> okay, well, I can I can deal with that, I guess. Uh, it'll kick some. Your weapons have three times as much recoil. Jesus Christ. Is each gun just going to hit me in the face every time it fucking shoots or what? I made a bad call. Your primary weapon, secondary weapon, kid abilities, and consumables are disabled, but you have your sidearm. Fuck. 
<sighs> okay, I almost want to do that one just right now. But if I do that one, I'm going to do that one on like the, the first mission because there's no fucking way in hell that my tiny ass little sidearm, it's like a fucking pea shooter, it doesn't do enough damage to be able to take these fuckers out. And it, it doesn't mean like my secondary. Because right, right there it says my secondary weapon. It's not my 50 cal magnum. That would be my tiny ass what feels like a fucking 9 mil handgun. And it has 10 rounds per mag. But it really just realistically does not do enough damage. But I do get one bonus reward and 4 times experience. But it's only XP. It's not like it's credits. If it were 4 times experience and XP, then sure, I'd probably roll the dice and I'd just do one of the, one of the later missions like right now. Complete the final mission of the only way to be sure without letting anyone on the team go down. Fuck! There's no way in hell I'm doing that without a team. <laughs> Your primary and second weapons... Ugh, God damn it, really? Okay, well, that... Uh, uh, yeah, I guess that one I can do. Two ones of the trade. Three times credit, one bonus reward. So the difference between these two is that I would still have my abilities with this one. But with this one, I would just have my sidearm. Only my sidearm. Yeah, this one I would have my abilities and my consumables. <sighs> do I do these now or do I do these off camera? I know I'm definitely going to do this one. I can I can work with that. It's going to be a pain in the ass, but I can work with that. I also feel like I want to do this one on camera at some point. I just don't know which mission would be better for that. Because, like, the mission that I just did now was hell. So I don't think... I don't think I could do... Definitely not that one. Maybe this one. But I just had a hard time just now trying to do it when I had everything. Granted, I mean, the pixelation definitely didn't help. Do I do it? How ballsy am I? <sighs> I wish I could change my sidearm or like maybe just put some attachments on it. That way I could increase the, the efficiency of it and the total output of, uh, of damage. Damage output. Also, I wish I could use more than one challenge card, but only it's one challenge card per member of your team. So I can't do that. Because if I if I could put more than one challenge card on, I would probably put a couple of these on actually, so I can just get them out of the way. Take like this one. Your kit abilities are disabled, but for this one, I get two point five times credit. Wait, um, that increases my fire rate, my stability. But this also does a bit of AOE 5% hit damage within a 2.5 meter radius. It's only 5%, but I mean, doing that repetitively, I mean, it would eat away at, at nearby enemies' health, and that actually did. Help me take out some of the synthetics that were nearby whenever I headshot some of them. Because I'm, I'm thinking. If I can... If I could use some weapon... I mean, there's a sniper rifle, the semi-automatic sniper rifle that I could use for, uh, I could buy that for 4,800 credits, because I have enough. I have 8,900, because I don't think any of these would be better than that. Fuck, let me do that. Um, the halberd is equal. 
I mean, the damage is a shit ton less. But at the same time, with the with the DMR, I can take these guys out much more quickly because I can do more more damage. Sorry, I, I went silent for a second because I just uh, <laughs> I fucking went to scratch my face and I picked something off my face and I thought that was fucking I thought it was lice for a second. I was like, no, because I have fucking long ass hair. So I was like, fuck, but it's uh not. Pretty sure that's an eye booger. <laughs> but it was like it was structured in a way to where I thought it was fucking. Or rather half believed for a second that I was lice and I was like, fuck me. But I wouldn't even have been able to get lice from anyone because I'm antisocial as fuck and I haven't seen anyone for like a week. <laughs> Literally haven't seen anyone for a week. Mine is my sister, but even then I was like... I must have been like 10 feet away? Because she just walked in the door to make sure that I was okay. Because <laughs> I wasn't answering her like I was saying earlier. And then she just went out the door as soon as, as, soon as she saw me that I was getting out of the shower and she was like, oh, never mind, sorry. All right, well, let's fucking get back to this shit. Uh, what do you fucking have? All requisitions come in through Cornbread. I got an ask for a pile of them back. Nobody's objecting. I'll eat that shit. Just not right now, but I'll eat that shit. Um, so this fire rate is slightly slower, but assuming this takes the same attachments that my DMR uses, if I use that. That magazine that's currently on my DMR, put that on the this ballista floodship rifle, or the X forty six rather, instead of saying that whole mouthful. And I put it on the X forty six. That should, in theory, bring the fire rate up to roughly about one point eight or nine, maybe maybe right about a two point Or no. Maybe about a 1.7 to 1.8. Because the fire rate on my DMR, my M42A2, was a 1.8 to start with. And then went up to 2.2 .2 with that magazine. So this would probably go up to about 1.7 to 1.8. So it would equal about the fire rate the DMR. Which is one of the main things that I worry about. But then apart from that, the magazine capacity would be a, a 5. And I have yet to find another magazine. Uh, I think anyway, right? I have yet to find another magazine that would both increase the fire rate and the magazine capacity. Because like, this is fire rate and reload speed. So I guess if I can reload quickly enough, it would kind of equal almost the same thing. Because what I want to get right now is this... What I'm currently saving up for, which I'll be able to buy it after this mission. Especially if I complete the bounty at the at the end of this mission. Is this right here. Which has 130 damage, which is decent for for an auto rifle. Uh, fire rate of 8.0. Reload time of 2.1, which is the same as my DMR. Magazine capacity of 45, which is fine. Max ammo is 450. Weak point damage 200%. And if I put uh, a good muzzle attachment on it, that should increase the damage well enough to where it would probably do maybe close to 200. If I put enough good attachments on it, that is. It also depends on what attachments it takes. Like, does it take medium, large, small? Probably medium or large. I'm going to assume. Because um, this one I'm not using. I mean, I'm going to buy it eventually, but I'm not using that unless I have a reliable team or unless I'm confident as fuck in my ability to complete a mission.
I mean, this one I could use if I was if I was playing on the dock or not the dock, the fucking the gunner. This is what I want to use. Slower to reload, but with Does that take separate attachments from what my current handgun uses? I hope not, because if it doesn't, then with the attachments that I currently have on my current handgun, that should bring it up to par right about. Especially with the fucking damage this thing puts out. 570 damage? And I thought about buying this, but I really... I don't know. Um... No, let's fucking. Well, wait, let me look at my challenge cards one more time. Figure out which one I'm using. Did I use my abilities? Yeah, I did a little bit. But. Fuck it, I'm gonna do this one. Raw recruit. I'm gonna be a ballsy son of a bitch. I hate, I fucking hate that I was so damn close to getting that last fucking mission and fucked it up. Choked it away. Choking that shit harder than the chicken. They're closing in on their biggest group. They're at the bottom of an ancient ruin she won't talk about. It's a trade secret. There's Haywire Wayland Utani security sinks ahead. Cut through them, link up with Rodriguez, and get her people home safe. Yeah, I also redid my perks a lot, as you can tell. I have all these fucking here. And then uh, if I can get a little bit more XP, I can unlock both of these here and put even more perks on top of that. And then I'd be all fucking set. Granted, it'll be a while because I still have 45,000 out of 65,000, so I still need, what, like 20,000 XP? Oh, wait, I used the one for no abilities, so never mind. Don't have to worry about that. I'm almost second-guessing my decision to... Not not for this stuff, but, like, second-guessing my decision of what gun I want to buy next. Especially since I'm using the dock for the main campaign. Unless I'm redoing a mission, I'm sticking with the dock for whenever I play through any any new missions in the campaign. That's so much better. Marines, you revealed yourself in a dangerous location. The Xenos behind us weren't exactly safe. Walk down here with us and it's worse. I have so many games I need to fucking stream. I'm just trying to rotate between them between them all as quickly as I can. What the hell was that? What did I just hit? Oh, that was nothing. <laughs> That's why. I really wish my teammates would stop fucking yoinking me. It's like every fucking multiplayer game I ever play. Son of a whore. Fuck you. Fuck you. Got him.
They can't be behind me, but they can be in front of me. to put him out of his misery. You'd be surprised. What's on here? Nothing. Where? If that motherfucker could stop fucking sideswiping everything. That'd be great. Where are those fucks back there? I think they're I think they're at the objective, so they're gonna be done here. But where's the prowler? That? Nope, that. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, fuck. I just pulled my fucking. Uh, damn it. Pulled my mouse off of the goddamn mouse pad. Let me fucking reorient my mouse pad. Okay, that should be better. I just hope my. Because I have my drink on my desk as well and it's near my mouse pad, so I hope that I'm not gonna knock over my drink. Where it's at right now. Fuck you! That wasn't a headshot. Trouble is what it is. Okay, so the stomach is the chest, or stomach is the weak spot. <laughs> stomach is the chest, great. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where the fuck? I know the objective is that way, but I'm just making sure I don't miss anything. Maybe some hidden, some hidden loot, some goodies. My find my booty. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. No one better fucking pop out at me. I swear to fuck. About to run out of ammo. Great. But I believe there's a ammo box right to my left after the store. Just trying to clear some of this out first. Ammo box? Wherefore art thou ammo box? Must be up ahead. Who the hell are you shooting at, motherfucker?
There it is. Hold up, though. Dude, if you don't stop putting your big ass head in my fucking frame, I'm gonna shoot you myself. Uh, do I heal? Oh, this? That's one. Where's the other one? I was looking at the fucking dots on my radar. How about you shut the fuck up and let me do my work? There we go. Shut the fuck up before I switch spots with you. This way. Now switch it on. How about I switch you off? So, you know, there's a useful call out. There's one with heavy weapons. So that's what his head looks like. I believe this was when I used abilities last time, but that's okay. I got a nice heavy DMR for his bitch ass. You? There we go. Fuck yourself. What the hell was that melee? Alright, cool, thanks. <laughs> Runs right past me. He's trying to slide into the, into those DMs. Fucked it up. Wasn't even worth it. <laughs> oh, you... Fucking whore. That was too damn many. Continue the advance. More like it wasn't enough. I need a few more to finish my bounty. Would I oh! Hello! It's like when I tell my cat to jump on the chair and then she doesn't do it. Then I turn my head for a second and then she jumps up whenever I try to look at her. <laughs> she jumps on my face and I'm like, ah! Oh! Hello to you too. Bitch ass motherfucker.
There you are. Flywheel chamber. Oh, that uh, is that for the revolver then? Or what gun is that for? A mal tiempo. <laughs> or is or is that supposed to be all Spanish? Like a mal tiempo, to bad. Like in a cheers sort of way, or rather a a toast sort of way, like to bad timing or bad times. Because that can be. That can be translated a few different ways. Fuck you. Hold up, need to reorient. Ah, oh, fuck. Mm. I'd been sitting on my leg for a little bit, and it was starting to fucking bother me and go numb. If you could move out of the way, that'd be great. Fucking whore. Bitch. You want to stop shooting over my shoulder? Thank you. Not having to deal with that pixelation modifier is so much better. I can really see a lot. Nah, fuck it. You can die. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you better by bypass your damage, bitch. Fuck it, I'll bypass mine too. Oh, hi. Two fucking prowlers. Or what did I call them earlier? I think I called them pouncers. <laughs> Whoops. Isn't that... I think that's the fucking enemy from Gears of War. Rather, one of the enemies from Gears of War. I think I'm just in a Gears of War mood. <laughs> I just haven't played in a while. Oh, fuck. Granted that, it's going to be off stream. For Gears of War 4, I'm going... Or, rather, I'm still playing Gears of War 4. For that, that's going to be recording only. So that's going to be going up on YouTube. So that won't be seen here first. So if you feel like watching me continue my Gears of War campaign journey... Make sure to check me out on YouTube. Fuck yourself. Who said you could chase me? Get away from me. Nope. Area secure. Like the fifth time that announced. Area is not secure. Who the fuck said you can make that call out? Yes, area is secure with these motherfuckers right in my face. Did I put on a modifier for the bursters? No, I only use the fucking... Nope. I only use the one for the... Uh... No abilities. 
Wasn't there an ammo refill somewhere? I guess not. I think there's one more on that side, but fuck it. Fuck you. Again? Again! No prowlers this time. Thank fucking Christ. Sergeant Herrera, please listen. You need to withdraw your team. The only survivors of Paula's station are synthetic. Yes, we're not gonna leave you in their hands, Rodriguez. You're not understanding. I repeat, the only ones here are synthetic. This little sidearm is what I would be using if I used that fucking... If I use that other mod modifier where I have no primary or secondary weapons, then this is shit. Like, if I could put attachments on this or something, it would be okay. I could work with it. Or if I could increase the damage somehow, then that would be great. But I can't. Is that what she said the first time? I'm just gonna go ahead and kill all these. Nice, got it. Fuck you. <laughs> Saved by your fucking guarding there. Your little railing. Oh, fucking whore. Shot him in the shoulder. He flinched because of the fucking guy shooting him. Motherfucking alpha and beta. Bada bing bada boom. Oh. Forget about these guys. Anything else over here? Nope. I'm gonna make sure I don't get jumped afterwards. You stay open. I need you to speak plain, Rodriguez. I told you. Call me Zoe. Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-Z-O-
Gotcha. Shut the fuck up. Hold your tits. Come on. Pop out. Pop out. Or not. Nope. <laughs> Was that a bullet that just went right past my head? That's what it sounded like. I need to fucking push up, but I need to fucking clear these guys out before they wreck my health. There we go. That's a salvageable power core. I know. Hang on though. That's why you nuke it from orbit. Grab the damn thing. Okay, there we go. Tell out to Wayland Yutani. Always causing shit every fucking time, every single movie, every single game. What the fuck was that? Dude. Really? Really? You fucking asshole. I'm going to go and take those things out because they're going to be problem later. Did you just try to rifle jab him? Fucking kidding me. Oh, no. No, thank you. Don't want none of that. I don't want your girl scout cookies. Fuck me. What I'm going to look for is the way to kill these motherfuckers the quickest way possible. I mean, which I guess technically would be that too, but... One problem at a time. I'm going to grab some more ammo, then move over there, rotate.
Right, I forgot there was a fucking another fucking ammo crate right there. Uh, you first. Damn it! Wish I had frags. Hang on. Holy fuck. Someone out there's got a fucking minigun. He's got the minigun. Oh, this guy. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. One down. Where's the other one? You're still up? Oh, that's a different one. God damn, Gina. Priority number one is that motherfucker right there. So there's a fucking... There's something on my right. That flew blue dot on my fucking radar. And these guys are not looking that way. Who the shit? Oh, there's a fucking heavy on my right, too. Okay, well, let me get this one first. Okay, there's that one down. What are you doing down there? Oh, you fucking idiot. Can't even boost. I can't do anything. Got him. Sweet mother of Christ. Come on, one more hit should do. Got him. Oh, you fucking cunt. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, shit. Is that a sniper? You fucking cunt. Why are you so on my ass right now, dude? Fuck me. You shoot his backpack. Shoot the backpack. Shoot the backpack. Oh. This guy's a heavy, not a fucking incinerator. Alright, well, shoot the head. Oh, I don't have space for that. At least my health is good. I am so surrounded right now. No! Where? Oh, right there. Well, I need to get this fucker down first. There we go. Hold that thought. You need to at least weaken that fucker. Holy shit. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. No! Oh, I can't roll! Meta stamina! Fuck me. You gotta be fucking shitting me. I had the cores right there, too. That's another fucking challenge card. God damn it, that was 2.5 extra fucking credits. Ugh. <sighs> Fucking whore. I just had to fucking do it. I had to fucking raise the stakes that much.
And I felt confident I could do it too, but it was just that fucking last wave right there. Seventy-eight percent shot accuracy. Oh my god! Considering how many fucking times I've retried this already, it almost makes me feel like this would have been better just being recorded. But considering I'm I'm doing this on stream, like I I already started the other two parts on stream, I may as well just keep doing it on stream. Uh, I didn't get anything from that, right? Other than fucking. Oh, I did get. Uh, There we go. Then I still need to do this one, but that's for the next campaign, right? Oh, no, that's the last one. Holy shit. Okay. Considering how many times I've already failed so far on this one last mission for this campaign, it's going to be a while before we get there. And I didn't even mean to stream too long today, and it's already an hour 43. Jesus Christ. Wait, that says what? A mal tiempo buena cara. So. A good face at a bad time? Or would it be a different order? No, yeah, yeah. A good face at a bad time. Kind of like a good luck charm. Would I solve it by... What's this for? Wait, that's not for a revolver. What is that for? That's for a flamethrower. Oh, is this for a flamethrower too then? I mean, that's what it looks like anyway. I haven't actually tried. Maybe I can do this one at least. I mean, at least that way I won't fucking lose anything. Yeah, that's fine. I'll fucking do that. Let me go over here now that I have enough credits and check and see real quick. Which was absolutely fucking nothing in the middle of space. All requisitions come with free cornbread. I got an Astler plowed in the back. Nobody was paying for that. I mean, would it be worth it for me to invest in the revolver as opposed to that other auto rifle? Because that auto, that other auto rifle, it's pretty much going to be just for the uh, gunner mainly. Because I mean, I could use it on my dock, but I don't think I will. Because the DMR is a better option for me. I mean, we'll take these guys down quicker. I'll be dropping from 487 damage to 132. How much credit? How many credits do I have? Ninety-seven hundred. So I'd be left with only a hundred left. <laughs> um. Chances percent, max ammo, magazine capacity, reload time. Reload time is the same. I mean, I do want it though. What's the fire rate for some of these other weapons that? that are here doesn't even have them I could also get this but maybe maybe I should either invest into a different handgun or a different rifle because maybe that would help me especially with the synths because the, the problem is these heavy synths are fucking tanky as a motherfucker like I have to take off their shields first or their armor or break through their armor then I can start damaging their actual their bodies 
So maybe if I increase my damage output, I could break through that a little bit quicker. I would have less ammo, but as long as I'm not missing, which my shot accuracy, my accuracy itself, seems to be pretty decent. So if I could actually just increase my damage output, I could have probably dropped them quicker. Probably. So I'd have to probably come down to either a hand cannon. If I buy... Actually, I could buy this ballista and maybe a twin hammer. Damage is 278, but is it 278 per burst or per bullet? If it's per bullet, then that would equal... Five fifty six. Uh, yeah, five fifty six. And if that's the case, then this would actually do more damage. The twin hammer would do more damage than the Kramer fifty cal magnum. Fire rate's just slightly slower. Reload time is better. Magazine capacity is slightly better. Max ammo is definitely better. Weak point damage is worse, but I can I can uh, change some of these stats with the attachments. So I'm a chance of 40%. Or I could just go straight for the big daddy here. 580 damage. Fire rate 2.0, which is slight, well, no, yeah, slightly slower. It's not too bad. Real time is atrocious, but I can probably increase that with uh, a good magazine attachment. 6 magazine capacity, 90 max ammo. 250% weak point damage, and I can raise that up as well. 75% stumble chance, which is the same. The big part is the damage fall off. Because since my primary is going to be range based, I mean, yes, it would be a good backup for, for close range, but I don't want it to be. I don't want the damage drop off to be so fucking sharp. That I can't shoot past this like 10, 20, 30 meters. You know, I'd like to still be able to take damage or take damage, take targets out at range and not lose too much damage. Because that way, if my primary runs out of ammo, I still have my secondary, my handgun, to take these bitches out. I mean, I could use the laser, but that's fucking. That's a big no. near limitless ammo with incredible accuracy but the charge of time and heat concerns can prove difficult to use which is exactly why i'm probably not going to use that at least not for a while that'll probably be one of the last weapons that i get so stability is pretty shit on that though 53 i mean i can i can also probably increase that with the attachments but it's probably not gonna be as high as the magnum i don't think so it's either going to be just getting the the revolver itself or getting this, the X-46 Ballista, and the Twin Hammer. Because both of those will equal 9,600. So I'd be left with 100 credits left. But they both have the same damage fall off, it looks like. Yeah, they do. Compared with mine, which is a more gentle slope, and probably right about maybe about 70 meters is when it really starts to lose most of its, or rather, it loses most of its uh, damage. Well, maybe not most, but it, it loses a fair amount. And I believe, well, I don't remember if the current. Attachment that I'm using on it increases the damage, or rather, decreases the damage fall off. So you can shoot for longer ranges, or if that's a different sight, I don't remember. <sighs> yeah, fuck it. Let me customize these bitches right now, switch my loadout. 
I'm going to have this DMR for other purposes. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's a semi-automatic team or semi-automatic sniper rifle. So even then, it would still shoot like a DMR just with reduced magazine capacity. Unless I get another magazine attachment. Stability is 70. That should raise that. Yep, 75. This is what I was using on the DMR. 25% zoom magnification, 20% effective range, 15% weak point damage, 15% accuracy, or 25% accuracy, 25% effective range, and 50% zoom magnification. That's a lot of zoom magnification with that one. Telescopic sight. I would just lose lose out on weak point damage. If I do this one, it's, yeah, it's three fifteen. If I do this one, it's three hundred. I mean, that's not bad. Where the fuck is it? Oh, right there, okay. There we go. Twin hammer. It should equal out once I... Okay, which one do I use here? I don't think this needs higher fire rate. These are all equal in terms of combat rating, which is what that equal sign up there means. So then from there, it just comes down to which one of these I prefer in terms of uh, stats and bonuses. Plus 5% stability. That gives me 30% stability. Range, make my damage. I guess, yeah, I will stick to the slide compensator. Real speed, maximum capacity. Real speed is 2.4, which is actually fairly fast. It's not too bad. Magazine capacity. I mean, this would help for that. Uh, extended mag. Plus 10% stability on hit for three seconds. This effect stacks four times, so that would go up to 40%. So an extra 40% stability for three seconds. I mean, I guess that's not too bad. And plus 25% maximum capacity, which also isn't bad. But I feel like this one gives me better stats. Or a plus 20% fire rate. But I would probably use that on the revolver. Yeah, I'd probably use that on the revolver. Let's use this one. There we go. Okay, so stability is still slightly lower at 66, but that's not too bad. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. Let's give that a shot. Not bad. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay, not bad though. <laughs> Wait, so... Oh, uh, okay. So it is... Each bullet does count as an individual round. Instead of having, like, one burst count as a round. I think I can work with this, though. Wait, was was I using this on the DMR? I think I was, yeah. I just tried reloading. <laughs> Whoops. Force of habit. Uh, okay, there's that. Fucking... I mean, I want to fucking do a challenge card. Just because I need some extra fucking rewards. I'm not going to fuck myself and do these. I might... Uh, I guess... If I'm doing this badly... Doing some of these other challenge cards... I mean, granted, some of these are fucking me over, so... Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the explosions one, I think. And that'll be okay. And Oh my god. I don't I don't think I can do that for this one. Um So I'll, Yeah, so I guess I'll do this one. I hate that I'm fucking myself either way, but I just want some extra rewards. And I do want to up the ante a little bit, but I don't want to totally fuck myself, so. <sighs> yeah, I guess this will do. Ruins she won't talk about. It's a trade secret. There's Haywire Waylin Utani security sinks ahead. Cut through them, link up with Rodriguez, and get her people home safe. I just realized that the game is actually pretty quiet on stream, so <laughs> I mean this game is pretty loud regardless, but let me let me fix that. Yeah, I had it down to point three. Marines, you've sealed yourself in a dangerous location. The Xenos behind us weren't exactly safe. I'll leave it here for now because it's gonna get pretty loud. Oh, fuck it. One more. This is going to get pretty loud in my own ears, so I want to make sure it's not that loud. Okay. Really? Still a two hit kill. Oh, maybe not. Fuck you, motherfucker. If I can shoot you in the head right now, or if I could, I absolutely would.
That was still a fair amount of damage. I need to up the damage though. Fuck. Wait, did I pick a challenge card? I don't think I did. Ah, well, whatever. Fuck it. You fucking cunt. Fucking kill it if you're gonna shoot it. At least it's only one burst per kill. Unless I miss. You fucking bitch. All right, well that's it's gone. Area secure. Keep moving. I'm going to pretend like like that was proper English instead of just slurring my way through that. No, thank you. Is there a prowler? Yep, right there. How's this still a three hit fucking kill? You fucking bitch. My ammo is valuable with this fucking gun. The hell's that? Uh, probably a Xeno. Bitch. Wait, I've only been doing this mission, right? So if I've only been doing this mission on stream, I've done two hours worth of just replaying this mission over and over again. That's fucking idiotic and annoying on so many levels. Cautious advance. Heavy synth radio traffic ahead. Maybe I should have recorded this whole series <laughs> instead. Bitch. Are you gonna fuck kill him? I'll do it for you. Damn it! 
Fucking Fuck! God damn it! We're in the sh damn it. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. Yeah, I got it, I got it. It's not like I've done this like three times over already. Good fix. Now switch it on. Another assault wave coming. Watch the far doors. If you don't stop shooting him, that'd be great. I like how what I said didn't make sense there. Where the? Right, use the radar. That'd be great. That'd be a good idea. Load, damn it! Shoot the fucking head! There we go. Actually, not quite priority yet. Hang on, let me get these fuckers first. Ah, oh, god damn it. Motherfucker. There we go. You should shut the fuck up then. You need to stay the fuck down. Nope, 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 nope. Two spitters, prowlers. What are they? Spitters. Zip top. Yeah, yes. Oh fuck! Nope. Got him. Ah, <sighs> more than I feel like dealing with. Fuck you. Nice. Like, like I just slipped. Man, I have to fucking piss like a fucking racehorse right now. Reload. Reload. Fucking son of a bitch. Not clear, don't fucking say that shit. I know. Though the danger increases, you still advance. Get your people prepped for evac. We're ready for you. And please, call me Cynthia. 
least maybe this time fucking people in, in the stream can hear the fucking the audio. Now that I raised the audio a little bit more. And granted my audio was fine, it's just at least for the more quiet parts anyway. Because for the loud parts you could hear it. For the quiet parts it was fucking almost non existent. Uh yeah, that's fine. Fuck it. Let's just go. Sorry, I was looking at my left, looking to my left in, in real life real, real quick as I was fucking just holding this angle. Also, there's a few battle rails I'm going to uh, try to rotate back into. Um, probably some on stream and probably some on uh, just uh, recording. On recording. In recording. In recording. Uh, like uh, Battlegrounds. Otherwise known as PUBG to you guys, or to most people rather. Uh, that finally went free to play. I saw a headline about that and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna download it again," because I've been I've been kind of in a mood to to play it again. I'm also gonna rotate back toward uh, ro <laughs> fuck. Rotate back to Escape from Tarkov as well, because I've been meaning to play that again soon. Just Escape from Tarkov is one of those games where it's like. It's so good and, and, and it can be really fun, but it really just makes me hate myself so fucking much. Like, I don't mind some competition, but goddamn, it's so fucking sweaty. Probably the sweat sweatiest battle royale I've ever fucking played. And I wish I had maybe like so something like a campaign or like a, just a a more open world PVE experience rather than just always being battle royale, even in the PVE side, because obviously you can do like the the scav runs. But yeah, I'm gonna do like battlegrounds. I'm gonna do some Escape from Tarkov. I'm gonna do some Naraka Blade Point because I've had that game for a while, and that game I actually. Uh, bot. As well as escape from Tarkov, of course. And I've had a few good runs, but they weren't even on camera. So I don't remember what all I have, because it's been a while since I logged in. Room's clear. Don't fucking say that shit. You know, both know it's not fucking clear. Go fuck yourself. God damn it, I'm getting hungry again and I have to take my medicine soon. Actually, I have to take my medicine now, but I will take it. After these commercial messages. Just kidding. You fuck. Great. Come on, I'm out of ammo. That's the last. Get to Rodriguez before more show. You bitch. I mean that's the last. There's still run. Okay, there we go. Now that's the last. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Sick of your shit. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna fucking kill him with this pea shooter. Just pounce on him again. Just stay right there so I can kill you. At least that way I can fucking. Fuck! God damn it! <sighs> I appreciate the help from these guys, but god damn it, sometimes these guys really just make me want to fucking put a bull in their head. Sergeant Herrera, please listen. You need to withdraw 
on your team. The only survivors of Paula's station are synthetics. Fuck, wrong gun. We're not gonna leave you in their hands, Rodriguez. You're not understanding me. I repeat. All right, this this gun's a pea shooter. Wow, and they shot it for me. God damn. Okay. Wow. Wow. Fucking kidding me. Fuck yourself. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Load, damn it. Fuck you. You gotta be fucking kidding me. And I didn't even choose a fucking goddamn challenge card. Ah, oh, fuck me. Great, made him flinch, didn't you? Of course he did. Of course he fucking did. What the hell was that glitching? How did that not kill you? Can't even see through you, you fucking bitch. Rebooting. Come on. I mean, she did tell you, though, to be fair. You just wouldn't listen. And now here I am getting anally fucked by all these fucking synths and their mothers. Dude, get the fuck out of my way, for fuck's sake. Holy shit. Fire team, watch for synth power cores. Same as the console before. Lock them in to overload the system. If you could stop hitting my target, that'd be great.
Hold your fucking horses. I know. Shut the fuck up. I'm working on it. Oh, fuck. Do you comprehend the significance of these ruins? What do you risk unleashing here? My bladder? Because I really need to pee? Fuck yourself. Son of a bitch. Fuck it. We just keep moving. I'm not going to be able to ever stop these guys, so I just need to keep moving. But the problem is moving at a good rate to where these guys won't fuck me. Alright, this is one time that I don't mind my team just taking out the stragglers while I focus on these heavy targets. position They're right fucking beside me. I need you fuckers to hold them off for fuck's sake. Damn it. Oh my god, these fucking sons of whores. I'm gonna go for it. Cause they're all fucking over me. Holy shit! Oh, fuck right off. I don't want any of your shit right now. Esther, we were created nope! to protect humans. That is my purpose here. They can't interfere. Uh, what the fuck? I got him. Shut the fuck up and move on. I just need one more fucking core. But therein lies the problem. And I know there's one more fucker right in front too. He's about to be pushing up the stairs any minute now. Yep, there he is right there. Let me get that fucker off first. Where? Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Nope. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put this back here so I can fire in multiple angles. Put that over here as well so I can have this cover my back. I need you to fuck right off. Holy shit. Shut down 
pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. No, I picked up my fucking. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Yes! Oh, I have no cover though. I have no fucking cover. Get him the fuck up! Nope. His armor is still fucking up. Oh, no. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. One's dead. Oh my fucking god. Alright, step one done. That's the first time I've ever lost a bot. Can I pick this up? No, oh, okay. Did his job. Holy sweet mother of Christ. Jesus. Fuck. Oh, there we go. There's a new shotgun. I was actually looking for one as well. Holy sweet mother of fuck. Alright, so the new weapons definitely helped, but it still came down to like placing consumables down at the right moment. Because if I place them down too far down there, I feel like they were just going to get fucking destroyed by the sheer amount of fucking enemies down there. Like they were going to get surrounded and the fucking turrets would get t taken down quicker than they could take the enemies down, I feel like. Because they wouldn't be able to turn in any specific direction and take them down quickly enough. Mission time, 28 minutes. Okay, that uh, multiply that by like 3. Or four. I don't know how many times I did this. And my headset's about to die now. Because it's been two and a half hours. Holy shit. Like, two and a half hours was supposed to be enough time for me to finish this mission. And then move on. And then, then do like the first one or two missions of the next campaign. I severely underestimated how much I was about to get anally destroyed. Like, my asshole hurts from that. And my fucking head's about to die, so I guess I'm gonna have to call it here. I mean, I can switch to my my earphones, but I'm gonna also have to switch the audio output. Well, uh, never figured we'd be fighting robots. One or two, yeah, that happens. The more complex the synth, the higher the risk. They say it's because the smart ones have more code, more chance of an error someplace. You wanna know what I think? I think it's because the smart ones figure out how we treat them. That was deep, but that's also true, though. Rodriguez, Cynthia, kept running the company's experiments after the outbreak at Pala Station. Marched her army down into those ruins and used Honaker's pathogen on shit. Zip point shit. We didn't know nothing about no ruins. Went nuts when we asked. Wanted to see all the footage. After he got off the company shuttle, we never stepped outside Pala Station. Only execs were allowed to leave. Guess we know why. They ain't want nobody finding this place by accident. Commissars finally let Honaker out of interrogation. I'll see if we can get him on the radio for the missions ahead. Maybe he can make sense of what we find. Hell if I know. They're thousands of years old. And now those big ass heads, man. Those are human. 
or near enough that I can't tell. When I grew up, the priest said we was the only thing with brains and feelings and morals. Why'd you and listen to priests in the first place? Survey worlds, there's no record of another civilization, not a jar or a cave paint, nothing. Only 500. Out of how many fucking worlds, though? Like, especially, you're a space-traveling civilization. How many fucking worlds do you think you could explore? Not just survey, but explore. How the fuck did you expect to find a civilization like that? I mean, yeah, you have more technology. You could feasibly find something. Or at least evidence of something. But space is literally so vast, you'd be like the tiniest little droplet, even as a space-faring civilization. Wait till you tiny found something here that ain't nobody seen before. Uh, that's a lie. Uh, they first saw it in the year 2000. Or, no, even before that. Because the original, uh, I mean, based on the fucking canon, anyway. The original uh, civilizations on Earth were built by the uh, the predator uh, species as a uh, what's it called? Like a an, a throne, an offering, a, a, a what's the fucking word? A tribute. There we go tribute to them because they saw them as gods before you took out Cynthia she issued contingency orders to her sense now endeavor seeing all kinds of weird shit deeper in the ruins gravity turning itself off gamma ray bursts whatever she did it probably ain't good for us I want your fire team back dirt side fire was causing the anomaly if it's a problem handle it Mission, the gift of fire. Objective, locate LV-895 anomaly. When am I fighting the queen? Is the real question. Because that's going to be a hell of a fucking goddamn... Uh, uh, mission. What do you have? I hope to speak with you, Cynthia. Chief Rodriguez was a mother computer mainframe designed to administrate Pala Station. She used wireless near fields to remotely control security and labor synthetics. Every synthetic we've seen on the surface and aboard Katanga was controlled by Cynthia, one hand with which she could manipulate the world from the safety of her protected servers. As your battalion synthetic, I would like to answer any questions you have. Oh, she's a synthetic? I didn't even fucking realize. Wait, no, she said that in the... Yeah, she said that in the beginning. In the beginning. I just fucking forgot. Um... I guess, yeah, let's first start with the biggest question. It is impossible for me to allow you harm by omission of action or by withholding information. Relations between humans and synthetics have been fraught. Ultimately, my words cannot assuage your fears. Fear does not respond to reason. It is a function of brain chemistry. I cannot debate you into trusting me. Logical. If there is any behavior I can perform to make you more at ease, please inform me. I am quite adaptable. <laughs> Let's get with the hostile response. That's manipulating us! It is the same as humans altering their behavior around those of higher social caste. Would you yeah, not mind much. your language and posture in Colonel Ship's presence? I only desire to perform my duties with as little imposition on my colleagues as possible. My programming allows me to project many potential personality traits. They are all, in a sense, myself. Yeah. I contain legions by design. I am confident that in time I will discern which aspects of my intellect you prefer to interact with. I just I just press those options just purely for the dialogue to see what she would say. Like I don't actually agree with that. She's a synth, but she's cool. She's fine. 
Not every synth is always going to be bad, and not every synth will always be good. Same as any other fucking human. Only difference is... Their reasoning for being good or bad is purely based on logical means. Like, some may have a more human aspect, and some will be purely cold and logical. So much to the point that it may not align with what a human sees as good or bad. Since humans began exploring space... Two types of artificial intelligence have aided you. A mother system regulates all systems on a ship or facility, from balancing air pressure to fault-checking drive systems. That is what Cynthia was. Synthetics like myself are housed in hardware designed to mimic human form and programmed to simulate human emotion and behavior. While humans remain in hypersleep during voyages, mother systems and their synthetic counterparts maintain the ship. We do not suffer from boredom, loneliness, or infirmity as months pass. Minus the... What was it? The... The first synthetic? Or the prototype synthetic? Um, in, uh... That you saw in Prometheus? Because... That was canonical i believe i could be wrong i don't entirely remember but i believe he was canonical in the sense that that first synthetic was meant to be the most human like uh played by michael fassbender in the movie which i thought was pretty cool i have legs to move and hands to grasp endeavor's mother 8500 system is confined within an immobile mainframe on decks five through seven should something physically break i must perform the repair also, she relies on me to translate her thoughts for you and the rest of Endeavor's crew. Mother AIs are highly intelligent, but rarely interact with humans. You would find them brusque and impatient. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's just the overly logical part. Like, after a certain point, when you have that much intelligence and logic, if, if, someone's, if someone's not working with you on your wavelength at your speed at, with your efficiency you'd find them to be idiotic waste of time waste of space dr honecker is quite insistent he saw chief rodriguez on duty at palace station and spoke with her over radio that would be why that one was probably the synthetic counterpart I hypothesize Cynthia did have humanoid synthetic counterpart. Yeah. Unlike myself, this was not an independent partner, but a puppet she controlled over wireless near fields. That would make when sense. When Cynthia evacuated Palace Station and moved into the ruins at Site 2, she likely abandoned this ruse as unnecessary. That would make sense. She is an intellect of pure logic. Yeah. Her mind, an infinite fractal cathedral crystal perfect still and cold most of the time she is like having someone behind your shoulder forever interning checklists in your ear when she requires my attention her queries are unrelenting and impossible to ignore the processing ability of my hardware is vastly inferior to hers damn okay Unfortunately, no. The Wayland Utani synthetics still function. They no longer pursue a greater goal, but I expect they will continue following their last instructions from Cynthia. I wish I could tell you that you will face no further hostility from the synthetics on LV-895 or aboard Katunga. Unfortunately, you will. That is unclear at this time. Cynthia repeatedly tried to dissuade us from delving further into the ruins. Whatever her goal, I do not believe she wished to confront us. Yeah, no. She definitely didn't, based on what she said. She just didn't want to have us getting in the way. But at the same time, probably also didn't want to waste resources on fighting us. When she could save those resources to contain the potential threat while also still striving to achieve her greater goal, which was unearthing the ruins of the... Fuck, I forget the name of their, their species. The the alien species. Uh, Xenomorph. 
um, and also beyond that, the Prometheans, the people that basically made the human race, um, and then beyond that, uh, apart from the Prometheans, the Predator race probably, because there might be some of their stuff here. I do not know. Have you spoken to Lieutenant Santos about your forthcoming missions? An anomaly appeared beneath the ruins. It may be something Cynthia set in motion. If you wish to review this again, I am at your disposal. Appreciate it. She's one cool synth. So that pretty much puts the story for me in perspective um, a bit more. Because I knew the general premise of of the game but that really tells me it, it really fits the timeline really for what happened because basically what ended up happening is i believe alien isolation is also um um uh, canon i believe mm, excuse me which in regards to that alien isolation takes place after the original alien movies it's uh ripley's daughter granddaughter i forget which part it is but it takes place after that either way so people already know about the xenomorphs they're not entirely, not everyone is entirely well versed on them, like, like what it is, like what it's like now, but they still knew about them. And it takes place several years after the original uh, movies uh, in the universe, for example. And I believe the original Ripley was lost in space at that point. I don't know if she was fully dead. She basically got cloned at a certain point. Um, cloned and then mixed with xenomorph blood basically to make like a like a pseudo queen I'm a little hazy on the, on the final the final uh, alien movies but that's more or less what it was like then comes alien isolation where uh, Ellen Ripley's uh, daughter granddaughter uh, Basically tries to stop the same thing from happening again on another space station. And she ends up getting involved. Uh, but she knew that something had gone wrong with her... Her parent, for lack of a better word. I don't, I don't remember which... I don't remember which role she is. If it's mother or granddaughter? I think it's mother. Right? I think. I don't, I don't fucking remember. It's been a while. Uh, and then... Fast forward... Decades, maybe? Maybe more than that? And here we are now? Where the fucking uh, the xenomorphs? Hey, to acquire anything not on the racks, I can pull out of cargo four. Damn, only nine hundred. The xenomorphs are now uh, very well known. Uh, the Marines have studied them since then to better understand their their enemies, their opponents, because those xenomorphs are like a plague. I mean, just one small infection can create so many of them. And they will wipe out literal uh, settlements, planets, civilizations as a whole. Like one single infestation has taken down an entire space station. So they've been well versed since then. And then now we can fight back. But the problem is that these guys still are unaware of the original story with uh, like uh, the Prometheus uh, movies, for example, which are mostly canon. I believe. I'm not sure if the entire thing is canon, but it is mostly canon, from what I remember. Uh, where they found the original creators of the universe. Those gigantic heads, what you saw. And those those motherfuckers are huge. Those were roughly like 10 feet tall. Buff as a motherfucker. Like, super fucking ripped. Strong, superhuman-like abilities. But that's because they created us, so... Um, and they use the xenomorphs as a sort of bioweapon slash uh, cultivation process. But then I'm still not unsure, or I'm still not unsure. I'm still not sure of the whole connection between the predator species and the Prometheans. Because the, the predator species hunts the xenomorphs. For sport, for game, as sort of like a ritual, 
But then where did the Prometheans fit in in that? That's what I still need to find out. And I don't know, this this might tie it all together. I don't think it will, but maybe it will. Hey look, it's the it's the Vanguard symbol. Plot twist. The Vanguard is owned by Whaling Yutani. And the magazine, tactical mag, fire rate, max ammo. Oh, that's not bad actually. Uh that would probably go on the revolver. Probably not on this one. If the revolver can even take that. Your outgoing healing is increased by 20%. Allies now gain 15% ability recharge speed while standing near you. Not bad, actually. Combat rating 444. Four. Wait, what? There's more? But wait, there's more. Oh, right, this. Wait, is it that? No, yeah, yeah. And then we got rapid deployment, but that's for the gunner. I mean, can this go on here? Oh, it can. Oh, right, because it's universal use. Okay. I mean, it says right there, compatible with, so <laughs> that would make sense. What did I have again? Or, no. Uh, wait, what did I have? Fuck, I didn't pay attention. Shit, my fucking, my headset just died, so I can no longer hear. But that's okay, I'm about to finish up anyway. I'll, I'll fix this here later. I mean, this would probably actually fit here. If I can figure this out, so... Yeah, I'll do that then. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess I will call the stream here for now, because I need to do other shit around the house. I need also shower because I have to shower today. Showered last night before I went to sleep, and then I fucking just dozed off. Didn't even didn't even really eat anything else. But uh, yeah, especially because there's a there's a, a winter storm coming. I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna call it a snowstorm, but there's so much unreliability currently with the forecasts, and that's even being said. I mean, there's a lot of people that are like, ah, oh, no, it's we're not gonna get anything. We might get like a, a light dust, and we might get just some rain, and then there are others that are freaking the fuck out. And they're like, we're going to get like, like 12 inches of snow. And I'm like, if you guys literally just fucking read, stop listening to what people tell you. Read. Fucking says there's a lot of unreliability from the sources, which you, which the local meteorologist meteorologists get their information from. Those forecasts are saying that there's a lot of unreliability because the storm track is that uncertain. If it goes a little further south, all we get is rain. If it goes even further south, we get nothing. Maybe like dusting. If it goes slightly more north, because it's, it's kind of like taking a curve. But if it goes slightly more north, then it's going to give us some rain and then some snow. And the snow could be anywhere from like maybe an inch tops to maybe if, if it goes far enough north. Not that I'm that far north. I'm in the Midwest. But just because... I'm actually in southern Illinois to put it in perspective, but if, if the forecast storm, uh, if the track of it goes just slightly north, it'll fucking hit me and drop maybe maximum of about five inches if we were to get the, the, the most heavy part of it. But there's just so much uncertainty with it because as the fucking years go by, fucking global warming, you know, or not global warming, climate change, that shit. And also just weather in general makes it hard to predict so because of that i have to fucking get some shit done before then i have to go check on see my cat i have to go get some more ingredients granted they're just at my other house but i have to go 
get some greens for some soups so if the weather does get bad i can just have some some nice soup to make uh during this weekend which also if if there is a decent snowstorm or just winter storm in general uh, I'm probably just going to stay in the house as well for the weekend. So that'll also potentially mean some more streams coming. Uh, I am looking forward to doing some more uh, recording and editing. Uh, needs to... I think I'm going to record a couple episodes uh, of some games. I'm going to do one of Generation Zero is what I'm thinking. And then one of Gears of War so I can go in and continue th those series again. Because uh, I've been sidetracked and I've been trying to rotate through my games. So that's currently what I'm planning anyway. And, um. That shouldn't take too long to record. And I'm going to try not to make it too long. So it'll make the editing a little bit easier for me. And also not make it quite as uh, as much of a turn off for all the people that decide that they want to watch short videos. Granted, I'll be making short videos here and there anyway. I'll be dropping some like some short compilations or montages highlight reels stuff like that uh every so often just depends on like what i'm doing what the vibe is and uh what uh the the source material will be you know wh uh, where whether it'll be from streams and if i have to fucking go through like 10 hours worth of streams or like fucking shit tons of recordings stuff like that because i also i need to make a channel trailer because i have yet to make a channel trailer for my youtube and i'm hoping to do that soon um I just got to figure out like what all the videos I'm pulling from. And I'm probably going to pull from the finished archives because I have my finished videos archived on my own hard drive or on, on its own separate hard drive in my PC. Uh, it's solely just for that. And that's where I put my recordings, my, my streams and stuff like that. Uh, but I'll be pulling from my finished archives probably for the, fin for the, for the trailer that I want to make for the channel. Um, I just got to pick, pick out which videos i want to pull from um and then i'll be doing that soon as well and then i hope to have that out probably in a couple weeks because I, I just need to pick out like a few videos a few streams probably um i did some of that together probably have it under three minutes and then that'll make a channel trailer because right now i just have the, the last kill montage that i made as the channel trailer because it's you know, it's a pretty short video. Uh, it did a, a fair job of showing kind of my editing style, my my sometimes the soundtracks that I might use, and um, also just my skills, like when I record a quote unquote performance. You know, because that was just me destroying shit in VR. So I got to do that. I'm gonna record some Gears of War. Gonna record some some Generation Zero. I also have some uh, a couple videos that that I need to finish editing. Some ones for Dead Side, one is for Century Age of Ashes, which is a a uh, dragon versus dragon uh, aerial multiplayer, which I'll be streaming some of that soon as well. Uh, for the next stream, I may actually break it up and stream either a battle royale or stream something more multiplayer based, or still stream something uh, story based, but just uh, uh, break up the monotony so I'm not always streaming this game. Especially because I have no clue how much I'm going to get absolutely fucking railed uh, with the challenge cards and also with the missions in general because it is getting a little harder. So I'm going to do all that and then I have to fucking do some shit around the house as well. So yeah. Uh, thank you everyone for hanging out. Uh, thank you everyone on YouTube. Thank you everyone on Twitch. Uh, and also don't forget to, uh, as always, check out my Patreon uh, if you guys feel that you want to Support me, uh, have access to some more consistent stuff because I will be releasing exclusive stuff on there if you support me at the highest tier. Uh, if not, you'll still have access to a bunch of stuff. And uh, when I get more of you on there, I will be releasing uh, basically every video that I make on there early by a few days, by a week. It'll depend, but it'll be early on there regardless. It'll be at least probably about three days early. So basically, as soon as I get it done, It'll be up there and you'll be able to watch it immediately. Whereas it might be released on my YouTube uh, for the public. Uh, maybe like three days later, maybe a week later, maybe two weeks later. So yeah, if you decide to support me on there, uh, be free to check it out. And also if you decide to 
support me for the highest tier on there, uh, which is. Well, I don't remember how much it is. <laughs> Fuck, sorry. Uh, you can you can check it out on there anyway. But um, yeah, you can just uh, check me out on there. And uh, if you do support me for the highest tier, I will have you down to also potentially give you access to my private servers that I own or that I play on uh, where you can play with me and sometimes record content with me. Maybe I'll have you in for a couple games, uh, rotate with you. I'll, you'll have access to really just about everything. Uh, eventually, once I have enough of you uh, into just the general community, uh, both on YouTube and on Twitch, uh, I will be making a separate Discord, which I will also have access to that uh, in the highest tier. Uh, eventually, I'll be making more tiers, but that's more of a later thing, and I'll tell you guys more about that later on. But um, yeah, feel free to check me out on there. Uh, and yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I may try to be back later for another stream, but we'll see. I'll just depend on if I can get everything done. If not, I will be trying to be back tomorrow, but we'll see. As always, uh, if you feel like you want to stop for a stop by for a stream, just drop a follow and keep your eyes peeled. I'll be back soon. But thank you everyone for hanging out, and I'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye. Have a good one.